Hi everybody. <laughs> this is just awesome. So, remember when I was saying that the most important thing in photography is light? Well, actually I was wrong. The most important thing in photography is having a partner that supports your, uh, <laughs> your profession. <laughs> um, so I, I got back yesterday from uh, Hornby Island and I'll, I'll post a link up here uh, from that trip and with the intention of getting back to the, the work on the cottage and I was gonna help Karen with the painting. Well anyway, last night, of course, we had a, a big dump of snow in, uh, in Parksville, which doesn't happen that often and uh, so she said, well, you know, you should really get out there and, and do your vlogging and, and take some photographs while you have the opportunity. So uh, thanks, Karen. <laughs> so I'm, I'm out here at uh, Englishman River Falls again. It's not too far from Parksville. Uh, you may recall I did a video of this area uh, several weeks ago, and I'll put a link up here again. Uh, but it's just absolutely gorgeous, but I don't think the snow is going to stick around for that long. Uh, the sun's trying to come out and it's just hovering around zero, so um, I'm going to have to boogie. Now what I'll probably end up doing is um, I'll probably end up going to the same areas that I went to in my last video of this area and, and repeat the, the compositions or, or more or less the same because I know that they, they turned out pretty good. and. Um, Obviously, if I see anything on the way, then I'm, I'm going to stop. I mean, like the forest behind me right now is, is just absolutely gorgeous. Um, so I'm going to rush around. I might not take an awful lot of video because I'm really trying to get photographs. Uh, and you're probably wondering, OK, well, why would you take the same photographs or the same compositions? Uh, mostly because I, I know that they, they turned out the compositions work. And also, um, a lot of my uh, business, uh, photography business, re revolves around selling the rights to images. Um, I sell a lot of images to calendars, so they're always on the lookout for, for snowy pictures, winter pictures, um, you know, pretty pictures of British Columbia, Canada, uh, the West Coast. So uh, that's what I'm on the lookout for today. Right, so without further delay, I'm going to rush down to the uh, canyon here and uh, and see how the gorge looks. All right. Okay, the, the canyon looks absolutely stunning right now. Just the, the trees are just covered in snow. Now I'm using um, a polarizer because uh, I want to get rid of the glare in the water. That's a little bit distracting. So it really adds contrast and darkens uh, the water quite a bit. But this, the snow is just absolutely fantastic. Now I'm going to make sure I, I get verticals and horizontals. And I'm kind of composing it in, in the same way as before as where I had a there's an S-curve, uh, a natural S-curve in the river there. So I want to compose it in such a way that I'm not cutting off the S-curve and you can really see that, that pattern. So I'll do some wide shots of the whole canyon. I won't be including the sky because the sky is not terribly interesting. But I, I just noticed behind me here, there's quite a bit of blue sky. So it looks like we're going to get some sun anytime soon now. So, and then I'll probably take a, a few images of the, of the S-curve a bit closer. But of course, on the cliffs, there isn't any snow. So the contrast between the snow and the cliffs is, is a little harsh, but I'm sure I can brighten up those cliffs in, uh, in Lightroom. The woodland behind here just looks great too. So I'm going to perhaps see if I can find something uh, in the woods here 
just love it when the trees are just covered in snow like this. Just looks beautiful. Okay, now I found a, a view that's a little bit different than uh, the usual view of this falls. Most people take a, a picture of this falls from, from over here. Um, but I'm going to try it from here. I, I'm not sure if it'll work, but sometimes it's good to experiment. I mean, if you just do the same old, same old, then how are you, how are you going to improve as a photographer? So there's some uh, really nice trees right here with branches kind of laden with snow. So I've kind of tried to frame the uh, waterfall with those branches. Now I do wish there weren't quite as many branches as there are, so it might not work, but uh, it's just nice to have those, the snow on the branches and then behind you can just see a hint of the, the, the waterfall. There's two tiers, you can just make out the top tier and then uh, the bottom tier down here. And it looks like the uh, there's still blue sky, but the sun has kind of gone behind some clouds now, so I'm, I'm kind of hoping that it'll stay like this, because with the sun it was just a little bit too harsh. But the snow seems to be sticking around, there's a, there's a little bit of a wind, uh, but it seems to be sticking around pretty good, it's pretty wet. So after this I think I'm going to head down to the river, and uh, in the last video I did of this area I photographed a, a kind of a mossy tree, and I'm going to see what that looks like. It's kind of overhanging with moss. I want to see what it looks like with the snow on it. All right. last video from this area I photographed this wonderful moss covered tree back here and I thought I'd give it another go but uh, I don't think I'm going to try it this time it, um, it, it just looks too too busy actually with the snow it doesn't doesn't help so I'm going to keep going down the trail and see what I can find I think I found a composition here along the river here. All throughout this area there's all these boulders kind of strewn uh, throughout the, the river. So I want to find a nice grouping of them with, uh, with snow on top. And these go out into the river quite far so I can get out, well kind of a third of the way out and then look up the river with all the snow. Of course it would be nice if there was a a little bit of light, <laughs> a little backlight, but it's a, it's a pretty scene. It's uh, it's nice. I uh, 
Now I think, I think I'm going to probably have to use a polarizer with this. I'm using uh, my uh, 14 to 24 millimeter here and I'm right at uh, 16 millimeter, sorry, 14 millimeter. I get the two mixed up. So I'm right at 14 millimeter. So it's a pretty wide shot. And there's a tree that kind of overhangs over the, uh, over the river here. But it, it gets a little bit lost because it's, there's just so much detail going on with all the snow and the branches and everything. But it's a pretty scene, I like it. Right, so I'm just gonna put my polarizer on and uh, I'll take a couple of shots of this. And then I'll probably get some shots of the, the bridge, look kind of neat as well. All right. light is a little bit better now it's not quite so uh, cyan blue earlier when I was here um, this area was in the shade and there was blue sky up above so it was reflecting a lot of that ambient light down on the on the scene here but now there's a few clouds here so it's quite a bit wider so it's a little bit easier to correct in uh, in Lightroom I don't usually stop at this scene because the the logs are kind of a little bit distracting but with all the snow in here it looks pretty cool so I've taken some wide shots of the whole area, including the, the trees above. And uh, I've also taken some more close-up shots of the falls. I love the, uh, there's a little tree here, down here, that's kind of bending over the waterfall. So I quite like that. Yeah, the snow's really stuck around quite nicely. Starting to melt a little bit over here. Or it could be the, could be the wind, because um, there is a little bit of wind in the air. But I'm almost done here, I think. I think it's time to uh, head back and, uh, and uh, get some dinner, I guess. I love the color of this waterfall. It has a, a nice green, green tone to it. Yeah, certainly a beautiful day, that's for sure.
All right, I think that's me done for today. That was a, a great little, uh, great little trip. That's probably the main reason why I want to move to uh, Vancouver Island, or at least part time, is that there's some great little spots that, you know, aren't very far away. Um, especially in Parksville, there's you know three or four parks that are, are well worth photographing. And when the conditions are like this, which isn't that common, um, if you're you know if you live in the area, then you can. Uh, get out to these spots really quickly and, and capture the capture the moment so to speak um anyway i'm gonna head back and uh go and have a nice cup of tea and uh please if you enjoyed this video be sure to uh give me a thumbs up and uh i'll uh, i'll catch you next time all right thanks ever so much all right bye bye